Hey everyone, Nick Shock, so Snake Five here, and today, there's something in my eye. Wow, that was fast. I just freaking blinked and bam, something in my eye. That actually it was super unfortunate. I'm trying to see if I can find it. Eh, I think it's gone. I think it, I think it got out. Whatever. Anyways, sorry about that. Anyways, today what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be 100%ing my Balma. You can see she's at 90% right now. I'm trying to get even abilities with her. Um, so what I was gonna do is I was gonna get like all even throughout um, level tw you know, uh, 20 levels. Out of 20 levels, you can get um, what you got. I wanted to distribute that evenly between all the um abilities. Which is critical, evasion, and um, additional attack. Or combo attack, as they call it in global. But, uh, yeah. Uh, turns out, I mean, doesn't turn I I know uh, this already, but, you know, 20 does not divide evenly by 3. You still have 2 left over um, at 18. Two, 18 with the remainder of 2. So it would be like 6.6, .6 infinitely. Um, 6.666, anyway. Just trying to make a 666 joke. Anyway, um, I fail miserably. Anyways, so, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be 100%ing Bulma right here on camera. And I'm going to be testing her on a tech team. Unfortunately, I probably will not have, um, yeah, okay, that's what I want to do. Um, but yeah, so since, I'm sorry, I'm going to go back to my idea, first idea that I was going to talk about. So, since 12, 20 can't divide evenly, I just decided for the middle ability to have 8 and level 8 and then the other two sides to be level 6. So here we go, 100%. This feels actually really good. It's my first 100% on global. And I'm going to get two achievements for this, 100%ing a tech type and 100%ing a Bulma. Which will give me an Elder Kai and uh, some tech orbs. So, I'll be right back while I collect these. Alright, I am back. So, here we go. We collected those. When Goku Jr. comes out, we're going to get a free int. Um, some free int orbs. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure it just gave me a few like tech orbs. Small, medium, and large. Or maybe it just gave me 30 large of all types. But that wouldn't make sense if I had 100% a tech type for that. I don't know, I'm pretty sure it's the first one where you just get a bunch of tech orbs. Either way, um, hmm, trying to think of, like, which advantage should run this on. By the way, I was using my, um, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta team to beat this event. Because Bul the Fizz Bulma here, I'll show you real fast. Um, because the Fizz Bulma gives AGL and physical types 3 key and, th um, all stats 30% up. Yep. Um, so... Super HGL is probably the best team to run with that. Super STR, you'd run out of key. Um, um, most of the time, you wouldn't be able to super attack, and so the event would take longer. And with any other team, except physical, you wouldn't have enough key as well. Uh, physical, you have lower stat boost. So, only option. Uh, I'm going to be grinding up LR Goku on the 6th of August, because the legendary uh, campaign will be active and um i'll be able to get more medals not more medals but i'll be able to beat it more times so that would be great that'll be fantastic that'd be fan doodly do tastic bro anyway so we're gonna look for an agility event can't find a freaking agility event dude oh, come on okay i guess we have to do rose could i i guess i could do boss rush right show them off real fast sure why not Show her off real fast, sorry. I kind of said, um, I guess it's them, but, you know. I, I cleared Super 3 with, um, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I could not clear it with the current teams I was running before, um, pre-Super Saiyan 4, so. I ran it with Super Saiyan 4 Goku, but either way, I might have to run a Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. I think I have a Gotenks here somewhere. I believe. Oh, yeah, 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 there we go, there we go, there we go. Uh, no ability system buffs, but I'll take it. I guess. So, oopsie. Alright, being really careful with that. 
Because if you like swipe that thing really fast and then you just leave it alone for whatever reason, sometimes it just disappears. Boop. Deletes the recording that you were currently recording. Gets rid of all of it. It's really stupid. I've lost a lot of videos that way. So I'm being real careful. I'm going to replace him with her. Uh, I don't have Merge Masu, unfortunately, so I can't put him on the team. Also, why would I? Because she would, he would lower the potential of Bulma. So let's see her stats. All exceeding 10,000 except defense, but that is a super high defense set. The attack and HP stat are surprisingly pretty crazy to say this. The HP and attack stat are pretty average for the current meta. It's crazy. Um, you know, for SSRs at least, but for transcendent URs, it's pretty, um, yeah, it's pretty, um, pretty down the middle, um, which is pretty crazy. She is technically a transcendent UR, by the way, which is why I'm, which is why I'm saying that. Her leader is actually really good if you need a, a tech team, a, a tech leader, of, like, if your best type is tech or whatever, and you need a tech team, uh, go for it. She's actually not that bad of a lead. Uh, she'll definitely suffice, um, until you pull, like, Super Saiyan 3, Angel, Goku, or even Gotenks. Um, but, either way, um, everything is supposed to be kind of even. She's supposed to be, because I'm not sure what she would be best with, because dodge only gives you 1% for each level, whereas critical and additional attack give you 2% per level. So, like, having a level 10 crit will give you, or additional attack will give you 20%. Chance to um, do a critical or an additional attack depending on whatever you put level 10 in. But having level 10 dodge will give you 10%. And dodge isn't really even really like the only that. But you can't depend on dodge because it's a pure chance. I'd rather, you know, put chance into offense rather than chance into defense. Because if I'm relying on defense uh, and it's a chance, the, yeah, I'm going to be getting hurt in that event. If uh, my luck is pretty low. And considering that the chances are also lower to get the defensive thing, it's kind of weird. So, yeah. But, yeah. Either way, Bulma's supposed to be equal. Um, here, this is her art. Um, I guess she's, like, found... I don't understand. Because um, it's supposed to be, like, a Vegeta versus Yamcha competition, you know. Which version will win over uh, what you call Bulma's heart or whatever the heck it said. So could use not allowed, I know. So, you know what? we're gonna bring one quick item, uh, and that's gonna be one well, quick item that'll help us out. Uh, that's attack plus twenty five percent. I'm gonna go ahead and try and find an uh, item that increases attack. I think that's her. Okay, well I think the highest percentage boost, yeah, I'm gonna get is probably twenty five percent. So we'll just go with that. That sucks. Nope, okay, well. Stick. Oh, that's right! I think it was actually like the poo stick when the Arawa event came out, but when the Arawa event ended, it just became a stick. I think that's what happened, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I think so. And I think it was, the poop stick was like a great item for a bit that you could use. Which I actually did use it for a bit while the Arawa event was out. Um, but once it went away, uh, it just became a stick again, so. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and try and, try to, um, pull them out. After we do this event, they're gonna go to, go up past the home phase and probably end it there. Um, I love Gotenks, man. You have no idea how much I love Gotenks Super Saiyan 3. The Fizz one, I just, I think he's kind of like, B is a clone, let's face it, he is just a clone of. The Ted Gotenks. Hate that. This is my glasses, by the way. It's not my hair. Even though my hair is pretty wild. Uh. Ugh. I can never get my hair to be straight, man. I swear. Because it's meant to be curly, but still. Alright. Let's go see how much damage we can do with, um. Dang it. Dang it. Yes, thank you. We're going to see how much damage Bowman does at 100%. Keep in mind, she is also SA10. I'm not sure if I showed this off um, or if I talked about but she is SA10. Wrong card. Wrong card. Yeah, she is SA10. Okay. Um, 
And when she's SA-10, she's super attacks faster, so keep that in mind. Easier and stronger. She does get an attack boost as well as um, an easier time super attacking. So that's going to be helpful for us when we're showcasing her. Why I can't sleep properly with all this noise. Okay. Go, go get out of my house. <laughs> okay, right. 188k. You want 200k for a free-to-play unit? That's meant to be defensive is not that bad. That's not bad at all. I'll actually take that. That's actually really good. I mean, she's not optimal by any means. Not optimal at all. Main reason, she has no keylings that are optimal. That's to make Goku Jr. not optimal. He's still, like, both of these cards, Goku Jr. and this Bulma, are still viable. They're still, like, pretty good. They're just not optimal. They're not the best cards that you can put on that team. You can replace Bulma with literally like Golden Freeze on Super Tag. I would actually go that far. Just because the damage reduction. Much more useful than uh, Bulma's chance to, you know, block. Unless we have our level 20 dodge, but why would you? You know, I mean, like, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, Bulma's on the next rotation. You know, I'll just put Bulma out of rotation, and then we'll be able to see with a Vegito, um, boost. How much damage she'll do. So we'll see. We'll let Vegito, uh, end it here. I am grinding LR Goku, though. Trust me, I know, uh, I'm not, I don't know. Um, uh, many people probably don't give a crap, but... It just annoys the heck out of me that I don't have L an LR, like, free-to-play or normal, or, like, I'm sorry, soundable. Um, so, I also don't have LR Goku when everyone else does. And this is the perfect time to grind for him because, like, all the Super Strike events are here. Uh, at half stamina, you get twice as many medals that drop um, in the Super Strike events. The cost limit at 100 is gone from Super Strike events at the 6th of August. Keep this in mind. That's when that happens. Uh, so, yeah, I'll put Bomb off rotation for now. Let's see here. We're going to go ahead and um, just try and end him. Try and end Goku real fast so we can just move on. I'm going to go see if she does a different super. I don't think she does, but just went to double check. If this guy survives, actually, no, I won't. Go tanks. My go tanks. No, it's. Yeah, okay, it is my go tanks. My go tanks has too much ability system to not, you know, kill me. Kill her. Um, yeah, kill him here. So many male Dragon Ball Z characters that I use, man. It's that when, like, when I go to a female, she's like, keep on calling it. Yeah, I, call, I keep on calling her them or him on accident. Dragon Ball Z sucks this time. Two million almost. Gotenks is a freaking beast, yo, I swear. I love Gotenks. On Super Tech, he is going to destroy. Like, literally, Gotenks can almost do as much damage uh, with enough ability system as Super Saiyan 3 Goku Angel. It's crazy. He does a lot of damage. Uh, let's see here. That's probably best. And I'll try and hold back when, um, what's his name is here? When Kyle Ken Blue is here. I'll try to hold back the supers a bit. Um, and I think after that we'll end it here. Because, I mean, yo, on average, you probably will do 200k, 150k with a um, complete ability system buffs and no crits. Um, like, she doesn't do a crit. I mean, like, not that she has. You get what I mean. Um, but, yeah, we'll see. I ended up, I was thinking about giving her a level 20 de uh, type defensive boost, which is actually be uh, decent uh, against, okay, great, then, that's just wonderful. How much? 50, no, 40, 30k. Okay, yeah, I was right. I was about to say 40, but I meant to say 50, 30. Anyway, <sighs> keep on talking, all right. Um, I have some water over there, but it's too far away. I have to pause the recording, and that'd be kind of an awkward reason, because plus the recording's almost done. Anyways. So my point is, Bulma is a good card to use. If you have Bulma, or you want, or you're thinking about getting her for your super tech in case you pull like Goten, you know, sorry, um, 
Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Angel. Um, if you decide to um, do that, go for it. Um, put it on your Super Tech Team or Normal Tech Team, whatever it is. Um, she is viable for those teams. She is a great card for those teams. Uh, I would say that she's so, um, she's not great. She's not great, but, you know, she is a good card for those teams. I'm kind of trying to think of the right word. It's in between good and great. She's pretty good. There we go. Even though it's less than good, whatever. Um, she's pretty good on those teams, though. Um... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to think of what I was going to say. Yeah, so, she is worth grinding, just for collection purposes. Also, for the Elder Kai, I would actually say that she's worth it. Especially since it helps Global out, or JP if you really want to. Um, it helps them out, helps out whatever version you're doing it on, 100 percent them on. Um, get the, um, the points that they need. Or the queers that they need to win the contest to get the Vegeta uh, instead of the Yamcha. Now I'm on Global to win. Because Global's always been my main. I've kind of fallen in love with my Global account. Um, so I'm going to go for Global, obviously. But, you know, I mean, I like how her passive name is Love at First Sight. I literally just saw that. Alright. Ooh, this sucks so much. I oh, know it's not that bad. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna need Go Tanks to not crit. I know he's been doing fire crits, but oh, you know this one doesn't have anything in it. Never mind. Sometimes it's good to get um cards without any ability system buffs when you're showcasing another card. It's always good. She's going to be missing one key, which is bad because, you know, key multi 12 key multiplier, but still a decent amount. Probably the optimal situation for her. Hopefully, Kaioken Blue... No, Kaioken Blue can't, won't kill Vegeta. I mean, if, she, if he does kill um, Bulma, I won't really care because I'm just trying to showcase her with type advantage. Um, like I said, with type um, neutral, she'll probably do 150k, maybe like, you know, 180k, around that area. Maybe even 120k. With type disadvantage, definitely below 100k or all, all time. If, if maybe 100k, if it's type disadvantage, but it's like the enemy is really um has really weak defense. But with type advantage, I think she'd probably do 200 to 300k. We'll see if she gets a crit. Um, not 100 sure if she will. Hopefully, she will get a crit just to show off. Uh, damn, how much damage she does? No. But she did do 340k, even though it was with Vegito's um, passive and super combined, giving her an additional 55% attack. It's still, it's still pretty good. I mean, like, super attack would make her do more damage against Kyle Kimbo. But more AGO units, more, more of all units that you fight against are getting stronger, so, yeah. Um, anyways, that, this is just a quick little video to show um, her off. As a card. Overall, she is good. I don't think I've seen her block once because I probably didn't put her in front of enemies too much. That was completely on accident. I was just trying to get the optimal situations for her to pull off some strong super attacks and, you know, show her off at her max potential. Literally. But, um, it feels so good to have a Rainbow Star unit, I swear, man. But yeah, for the tech orbs and for the Elder Kai, she is worth 100%ing. Also, to help out whatever version you're trying to help out. Um, it does help out because you're getting more wins for them. I'm going to go up to 70 wins, and that's it. Just to get the other Elder Kai from getting 70 wins um, on the event. Oops, it is. It was watching Gaming Claw. You know, it is what it is. Um, I really don't care if you guys see that. Alright. Anyways, 303 stones. Can't wait for some Zip 4 Gogeta, man. I'm pouring all my stones into that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, but anyways, where our Goku go? Okay, sure. Anyways, 
Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you go ahead and smack that like button. Also, make sure you go ahead and subscribe if you like my content or just want to support the channel. This was a pretty bad video, I know. I'm just trying to showcase uh, Bulma. Finally got her Dogen Awakened. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and beat this event constantly until I finally get 70 wins. Um, I'm probably at like 45, 50 by now. Um, wow, this camera is lagging. Alright, anyways. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace! <coughs> God, I coughed. Alright, bye. Hapus.